200 jobs are to go in Marlborough with the decision by the Portman Building Society to close down its operations in the town. Staff were shocked at the sudden announcement. The firm says it's going to concentrate its business at a new headquarters to be built in Bournemouth. The jobs losses by the Portman stunned its Wiltshire staff. The society has been on an upward path ever since a series of amalgamations, first with the old Ransbury and then with the Regency in West, had turned it into Britain's sixth largest building society. The office workers had difficulty in coping with the news. Disbelief, shock, stunned. Couldn't believe it. It's happened to me before, so I, I suppose I'm a pessimist. I just get on with it. Well, we were all very shocked and very upset, obviously, at the prospect of losing our jobs. The decision by the Portman to close its operations here in Marlborough with the loss of 200 jobs comes as a considerable blow to the Wiltshire town, which, apart from its historic public school, has no other large employer. Well, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. I, uh, it's come at such short notice, it's an absolute shock, and my commiserations go out, first of all, to the staff. The Portman is offering its Marlborough staff the chance to relocate to Bournemouth, but to the majority of workers, this is unacceptable. I think it's a very sad day for Marlborough when you can lose 200 jobs and when the people involved have been told they can be relocated to Bournemouth, but most of them have obligations in Marlborough, they have properties in Marlborough, their husbands work in the district, so they won't be able to move. So therefore I think that they won't be able to be relocated down in Bournemouth with them. The company accepts that many married women won't be able to transfer to the Dorset town. We recognise that for some staff, the option of relocating to Bournemouth really is not there because of family commitments. Those staff will be given a redundancy package if they are unable to relocate. A branch office employing five or six staff will remain open, but this purpose-built office and a second property in the town will be sold off. Steve Brodie, BBC News West, Marlborough.